Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the odor door glass on your range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, it's easier to remove the complete oven door from the range and set it on a suitable work surface. So all we need to do is to make sure that the door is cool to touch. We'll open it up and loosen the two clips and remove it completely from the range. So just open the door completely. And down on the hinges, there are two little pivoting clips that we're gonna rotate back towards the door. Just lock them in that position. Then we'll close the door until it comes up against those. Grasp both sides of the door, lift up on it, and pull the hinges out of the oven body. And then we'll set that on a suitable work surface where we can change out the part. Now we place the door face up on a suitable work surface. So next we'll need to remove this barrier strip on the bottom, as well as this strip that supports the bottom of that outer door glass. They're held in place with quarter inch hex head screws. So we'll remove that barrier strip first. And just set that aside. Now next we'll remove the two screws on either end of that retaining bar. Now if the old glass is still in place, you'll need to pry that away from the bottom of the glass. And then we'll just set that aside. Next, just lift up on the bottom edge of that glass and pull it away from the top vent. Now, as we remove the old glass, you'll note that there is some reflective tape at the very top of that. If your old glass is still intact, you may be able to remove that tape. If not, you'll need to find some aluminum foil tape and just adhere a piece across the inside top edge of your new glass. Now we've taken a strip of aluminum foil tape. We'll remove the protective backing. And we're gonna line up that tape so that it just fits above the edge of that glass by maybe three eighths of an inch. But when we stick it to the inside edge of that outer door glass, we're only going to press down on the adhesive for about the first half inch. In other words, we don't need it completely adhered to that glass. Now, if we leave that much of that foil tape loose, we're then able to slide that in underneath these locating tabs on that groove across the bottom edge of the vent. So we'll take the glass and flip it over. And we'll line it up side to side and press it up into that channel. Again, make sure it's even side to side, and then we'll put the retaining bar across the bottom. And we'll wanna make sure that we capture the bottom edge of that glass with that retaining bar. Install the four screws on the ends. And now we'll put the barrier strip in place. We'll start all four of these screws before we tighten any of them. We we'll wanna make sure that the holes all line up. Now we're ready to take that door assembly and put it back on the ring. So we just need to make sure that we insert both of those hinges into the corresponding slots in the oven body. Make sure they go in completely inside of that opening. 
and just flip those stops back into their rest position. We can close up the door and your repair is complete.